Hey everyone and welcome to this video where we are going to talk about systems and specifically how you can use Airtable as a growth partner or a coach to scale your business. But before we get started, if you're a coach, an agency or a growth partner making 50k per month or more and you're looking to double your business and double your margins, then schedule a call with a link right in the description. Have a chat with me or the team and let's see how exactly we can build custom systems for you to scale your business just like we have done for other businesses that are making a million or two per month right now with our systems so let's get back to the video now i want to show you what failing looks like in the first place because if you avoid failing then you're very likely to scale and to succeed with your business so you need to understand the logic behind how we are setting up Airtable, and if you understand the framework then you can build just about any system or have your team build any systems within your business now what does scaling failing look like? You start usually by working super hard to get things started, to find the right offer, to find the right niche and to work in the right industry. And from there, because of all the hard work that you put, you start growing as a business. You start having more clients, you start having more traction, things are moving forward. And from there, because as a business owner, you don't have all the answers, sometimes you make up answers, right? And that's what happens where you come up with a bunch of solutions, you bring in people, you don't know even how who you're hiring or how to go about hiring. So you hear people's opinions or what has worked for them. And then from there, very often what happens is you're trying to scale and grow your business and double your revenue. What happens is chaos, right? And this chaos is what gets you to lose money. And that's why a lot of businesses are failing is because it's not that they don't know how to make money, but they don't know how to keep money and how to grow money in their business. So from there, what happens is you go to jail and this is a reference to Monopoly where you have to go back to working 10 times harder because now you're losing money. Now you need to work harder. You need to make sure that your team is working harder. So your business is not escaping gravity in short, right? Like you don't have this flywheel effect where now you have the people working, you have an asset, you are busy business owned really. And I'm going to show you how you can stop doing that in the most efficient way. All right. So how does scaling printing look like? You work hard, you have the growth, but then the thing that you're doing different here is after you have worked so hard and you had that growth, you go back into investing back to your business and to your business systems. You create leverage for yourself because you understand that you cannot clone yourself or you cannot have these expectations that people come in and they know exactly how to do the right things. And you know, very often because your business is not that big, you're not going to attract the most talented people. So you need to be aware of this. Whereas if you have the right systems, even if someone is mediocre, they're still going to perform because they have the right platform and the right environment. You probably have experienced this before where someone it sounds great like they know so much on the interview and then you bring them in and they, they just don't perform and part of the reason that why they don't perform is you need to take responsibility on what you have on the back end of your business if your business looks like a mess you cannot expect people to perform very often when they see the back end they're even like distracted or they're not even motivated because they're like this is such a huge mess like I i'm not going to do all of this right so this is where i come in with my team and we build systems for our clients and we are using Airtable and we are leveraging the back end of Airtable to make sure that you have leveraged systems that are scalable to make you like 100k to a million per month. We have clients using Airtable making a million per month. So you need to understand that with systems, you want to create the right systems, not just a bunch of solutions because that is the difference. All right. You go in, you go bring a person from Upwork, they start building some random solutions. You come up with some random solutions, chaos, right? You come in, you put the right leverage systems that actually work for your business, boom, scaling, all right? So from there, you skip entirely the chaos. You skip entirely the phase where you are losing money. Now you have to go and work hard again and again and again, and maybe even change offers and bring consultants and try to buy leads and do a thousand things. What you're doing now is you're scaling. You're scaling on autopilot because you have the systems that do the work for you. You have a team that does the work for you and the right work for you. And then from there, what you're doing is you are printing, all right? This is going to be you by the end of this. You're going to be printing like crazy. And really, it's not a new idea, it's nothing like a new tactic, it's really simple as that. You need to have the leverage systems and the team that does the right work for you, all right? So there's a reason also why I put systems before team. And let me explain to you. 
when you have the systems, you have the platform for your team, all right? You may have as many doctors as you want, right? Like, let's say you have invested in like a clinic, you may have as many doctors as you want. If you don't have the hospital, as good as this doctor may be, as much as they have studied, as much as they have practiced, this is not going to work. They need the right systems and the right infrastructure for them to perform their best. So this is the same. You have here airplane pilot. You may have as many pilots as you want, right? Maybe for you, you're doing the transportation. If that was your business, you're doing it just by having a little car or by carrying things yourself. But now as you're scaling, as you're growing your business, you have more clients. You need to have the right platform and the right infrastructure, which I'm going to show you within Airtable in just a moment, what that looks like. All right. From there, you have the systems, you have the people, you have a business that is running. You have the clients that are happy and they're ready to pay you again and again. They want to do business with you. And then from there, you go again back to printing. This is what it looks like getting clients to come in even if you have a coaching offer the market has changed and the industry is very different from what it used to be two or three years ago where you could sell a course charge high ticket as much as you want where in reality nowadays you have chat gpt you have so many coaches that are willing to do things for for half the price that you're charging so people are like okay but what are you going to do for me right and if you're not open to doing things for your clients or if you don't have a great product market fit then this is not going to work right so that's why i insist so much with the systems to make sure that your clients are successful at all costs and it actually doesn't cost you even that much because it's the same replicable process all right then let's look into Airtable all right now you understand the whole back end what is the logic behind this and why you want to have the systems now let's go into like how do you organize this all right. I explained to you that chaos does not scale. All right. And if you are going to have chaos, you're going to have to constantly go back to sales delivery. Sales delivery is never going to escape gravity. Your business is always going to be held down. So the way I use Airtable is by creating hubs. All right. In business, very often we have like Okay, here's the tracker, here's this document, here's this person who came up, who came with new ideas. What you want to have is some centralized hubs where you can use specific tools that you can go and implement. So what that practically looks like. You have end of day reports, you have it on the sales hub. You have deals tracking, you have it on the sales hub. You have payments, commissions, everything is happening in one place. You don't have a bunch of places where you go and track commissions and the sales rep has their own little tracker, the manager has some something else, you have something else, your assistant, you understand, right? So the hubs are sales, finance, hiring, systems, HR, client success, and then you're going to have a project management tool. You can use Airtable as a project management tool. I actually don't use Airtable as a project management tool, and I'll explain on a separate video why I'm doing that. But you have these hubs where you're basically organizing the data right here. And let me show you on the back end what that practically looks like. And one thing I want to mention before I get started with Airtable is that this is not a solution for everyone. If you're just getting started with your business or you have just one or two clients, Google Sheets will work great for you. That's why I have created the one click onboarding and all the systems that you can find in the description right below. This is something that will work for you and you can implement within 30 to 60 minutes. And Airtable is a more advanced tool for people that are making 50K or more and they're looking to scale. And the solutions that I'm going to show to you right here are custom per client, but I'm showing you a general idea on how you can get started with Airtable. So as you can see here, we have the sales hub, finance, HR, exactly what I showed you on the diagram. And as you can see here, we have a hub and let me show you from scratch when you're opening Airtable, this is what it actually looks like. All right. You have a database over here. You have different data and you can organize it however you want. These fields that you have here at the top is basically your columns. And over here on the side, you can create smart views. At the top, you can create different tables and you can name them however you want to track the data over here. So let me show you an example how we're using Airtable for our clients. And let's look at specifically the HR hub. All right. Over here, what we have on HR is we are tracking the team members, which makes it easy for us to onboard new team members. And you can automate a lot of actions from the onboarding of a new team member. And you, we are tracking also the out of office submissions. We're tracking how many people we got in our team. We have the team feedback and so much more, right? From here, we create an interface where basically you can see the number of team members, how much you're paying in payroll, and you have different cards of the team members. You have an org chart as well. 
And over here, you can track how many people are out of office. You can create notifications with automations and so much more. You can also create notifications for your team's birthdays. And you can have different resources over here on how to use the HR and how to use other tools. So this is just one hub and from there you can build so much more. I use our table because it's like building blocks that are scalable. If I ever need to add something on my HR, I don't need to go and figure something else out. I just go in here and build on top of what I have created on the HR hub, right? For example, if I want to go on the finance, then the finance hub really has all the data that I need. It has cash in, cash out, receivables, deals, purchase requests, and so much more. And then from here, we also create interfaces. The reason why I also prefer Airtable compared to like other solutions like, I don't know, Monday or Notion is because Airtable has some really great functions. First of all, you can track the data and you can track it way better than you would ever track it on Google Sheets because it's easier to filter things, to group data. For example, let's say you want to group it per program, whatever you're selling, you want to group the income per program. You can hide fields however you like. And then you can also create the smart views here on the side. This is more scalable than any Google sheet out there because on top of that, you can also track numbers only, currency only, duration. You can do different calculations and then you can also have attachments and long text field. This is something that Google sheet is really not able to provide all of that. So that's why I prefer Airtable. It has all these features. And on top of that, when Google sheets files get very big, then they start breaking automations and all that. Whereas with Airtable, it all works. On top of that, you also have have automations Click over here on Airtable where you can create different automations. You have up to like 50,000 or 100,000 automations depending on the plan that you have. And then from here, you also have different interfaces that you can create. This is something that you cannot do with Notion. And for example, Notion does not have the automations. You have to use Zapier or something else. On top of that, it's easier for someone who is not like super systems and tech savvy to go and build things from scratch like you would do with Notion. Whereas with Airtable, Table, anyone really can come in here and create the right tables. So this is a solution that we create for our clients. And of course it is custom to their needs and exactly how they're looking to scale and exactly the systems that they will need to go to the next level, whether that is a hundred K or a million per month, right? Like businesses have different needs. So as you guys can see, this is how you can use the systems and build the right infrastructure within your business to make sure that it is scalable, to make sure that you don't go back to jail and working 10 times harder than before and actually scaling the business, getting the systems in place and having the team in place that can run the business for you. So now you are a business owner and not business owned. This is something that not a lot of coaches out there, not a lot of consultants are talking about. Primarily, they're focused on marketing and sales. But in reality, in the businesses that I work with, they focus primarily on systems because they know that if they have the right systems and the right leverage, they can scale to multiple seven or eight figures as they are doing it right now. So with that being said, this is what that looks like within Airtable. The solutions that you can build within Airtable really vary. And it's not just Airtable that you're going to use, right? Like you will need some automations, and you will need some other systems, you will need some processes in place and strategies. And this is where me and my team come in and actually solve these problems for you. Because for many of you, as you're watching this video, you may feel like, okay, I am not going to do all of this, or this is too much for me. In reality, it can be overwhelming if you don't have the experience, but it is a solution that once everything is set in place, you don't want to go back to this chaos. So if this is something that you would like to have within your business, you can book a call with a link in the description and you can have a chat with me and my team and we can see how we can help you to scale to multiple six, seven or eight figures as we have done with multiple clients of ours. And if your business is too small to benefit from us coming in and scaling to multiple six and seven figures because you're just getting started or you have just a few clients, check out the one click onboarding or the other tools that we have available for you that you can start using and implementing yourself within just 30 to 60 minutes. Thanks for watching guys. And if you have any questions, feel free to put a message in the comments. If you like the video, also let me know. And if you have other ideas, I would love to hear them too. So yeah, take care and I'll see you on the next video.